My name is Stephanie Sherman. I'm uh, at Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia, and a professor there for about 20 years now. We started a program where we have uh, recruited families with Down syndrome throughout the U.S., specifically to get involved in understanding the relationship between the childhood cancers and the structural birth defects in Down syndrome. And again, using it as a model for many other uh, disorders that, that have that same relationship. So we've had a dream, I can say for a long time now, that we would have a thousand participants with a very deep um, knowledge of their outcomes, medical outcomes and um, cognitive outcomes, and that we would have on those individuals a whole genome sequencing. And it's, it was a dream, and, um, and now we're really excited that we actually got an award through um, Gabrielle and the Kids First um, uh, cent Research Center to actually make that come true. And sharing across, not just in the U.S., but internationally, has always been a big part of our study. So everything we do, we make sure that we can um, get it available to investigators. Uh, and we hope, again, with this, with this new resource, that we're, it, it enables that to be facilitated in a much easier way. And capturing the information in a way that you can share it across disorders, and those are the challenges that I think we're all facing now that have limited some of the sharing that's available. And then, of course, the advantages of working with in clinical research is specifically working with the families. They're the ones that have the priority of what you want to, um, of, of what the important questions are. So by working with them, you know you're going in the right direction always. There, there are challenges, but I, again, I think once we all start working together, and I think the whole, the whole culture of doing research now, clinical research is changing to, to move towards that data sharing. So it's an exciting time. So in addition to thanking the families for their participation and also the parent support groups for raising awareness for research participation, I think it's really important to thank um, the NIH who uh, for the first time has been um, mandated to, by Congress to spend money on Down syndrome. So NICHD has come together along with NHLBI has come together to help with Kids First to extend the number of individuals that we can sequence and bring clinical phenotype together. So it's, it's, a, it's a huge effort from many institutions and it's the first time that this has ever happened.